Hey everyone! I'm starting off this video in my garage. What I have done is I have kind of hidden all the Amazon packages in the garage in a cupboard so that my son doesn't get into them yet because I've always, you know, laid out all of his homeschool things on his first day of school. And then I'll just add in a gift or two that are more non-homeschool related just to get that extra excitement for him and just give him that extra like just a personal gift. But this video is all about all the Amazon items that I've ordered and I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you in this video today. So I'll put them in piles just so that it can be a little organized and so you know where to skip to in the video if you wanna just look at one certain category of items. Okay, so I'm looking at my pile here and I'm thinking that I'm gonna go ahead and start with books. That is my biggest pile and I just figured that's probably something that most people want to see. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the books and then go down to all the other piles that I have. I wanted to start out by saying that if you're familiar with the classical education, um, in particular, the well-trained mind in this book. And so for the grammar years, they suggest to go over the ancient period, which ranges from 5000 BCE to 480. Actually, not just the grammar period. Um, they rotate it. So first grade, which my son will be in, um, I try to get some books that, even if they were novels, I try to get it from stories that would range from around this time in history. When I share some of the books that I got, this is the reason why I got some of those books. So one of the books I got was The Trojan Horse. So it's more like, um, includes a lot of pictures and big print. Um, and then it's the level five, so grades two to four, they can read it on their own. Um, so that's a nice way for him to get familiar with that story. This is another book from the list that was given in that The Well-Trained Mind book. The Adventures of Spider. Um, these are West African folk tales. And so there's illustrations as well, but there's different stories, a compilation inside of this book. Really looking forward to reading that. This is another book, The Odyssey, and it's retold so that it is more for kids. It is a chapter book. It probably would go well with someone who's a little older, but I'm gonna just see, cause I'm not, familiar with this book. I've never read this exact book, so I'll see how he does, um, if, he can, if he can hold his attention, if he can understand. I'm not too sure on the level, but the idea is so that it's retold for children, so I'm excited to get into this book too. This book is pretty big. This is, compared to my hand, it's pretty big and thick here looks really cool. I like the cover, um, but as you can see, it's just a compilation of the Greek myths. And if you notice, there's also lots of illustrations and the stories throughout. There's a lot of stories in here, so you get pretty familiar just with this one book. So I heard good things about this book. It's called The Treasure. Another book that I heard great things about, if I'm not mistaken, it's been translated to English. So yes, I've heard good things about this one. I'm excited to read that to him. You might have heard about this. <laughs> of course you have. This is the Beatrix Potter um, Complete Tales. So it's a beautiful box here. Let me see if I can open it. Okay, so this is beautifully, beautifully wrapped in that box there. Ooh, this is gorgeous. Okay, this is a thick book. I don't wanna ruin the pages, so let me go like halfway here. Oh, beautiful illustrations. And all of her stories are in here. Wow, I'm very much looking forward to reading that. Oh! That is such a beautiful illustration. Oh, I can't wait to get into this one. It just looks so cozy. So, there's that. Another book I've heard great things about 
It's a sweet story about a grandfather and his grandson. And there's also a Spanish version, which I also ordered, and I'm waiting for that to come in. Another book I've heard good things about. They consider it a classic, Crow Boy. Lots of neat illustrations. This one I think I'm most excited for because I never read the book Little Women, but I watched the movie and I absolutely love that movie. Uh, I'm talking about the 90s version. Um, it, so I'm, the reason I didn't get Little Women though is because I do have boys. So I figured um, this is gonna be similar to where it's a story about brothers and boys and just the adventures and the mischief that they get into and uh, I mean I've heard great things about this book as well it has great reviews so I'm so looking forward to reading this um, especially because it's written about boys at a time period where there were no phones and no technology and um you know boys had to play and learn things and you know I just look forward to laughing and reading it with my son I'm sure he'll love it. <laughs> and lastly, this is another book that was recommended online. Beautiful illustrations. Nice little picture book here. Here's another well-known book. This is more of like a, like a science textbook. We have a lot of great illustrations. Everything is very simple for kids to understand. And what I like about this too is that the illustrations are kind of like, I feel like it could be easy to recreate. They're kind of doodly. <laughs> so the children and even myself can try to just copy it. So I really look forward to this learning and spotting these things when we do nature walks. Very happy that we ordered this. Along with that, I got Ocean Anatomy. Same concept. Lots of wonderful illustrations, very simple info that kids will love and understand. This book um, is the Berenstain Bears Book of Science and Nature. So another book about nature, um, but this time it's with the Berenstain Bears. And again, I just love how there's lots of illustrations and there's not even a lot of, not too much to read. So it's really simple and he can just get the main ideas and learn from that. Oh, love it. Look how big it is. Love it. Excited for this. This is the Burgess bird book for children. Uh, my husband has a bird book, not geared for children, just an adult one, I guess you could say. Uh, but I'm glad they made one for children, although you can see it's very wordy. So I'll see when I look into it, how that'll work out. There's not many illustrations. But I heard good things about it, so I'm excited to get into that one. Um, hopefully it can help encourage my son to be more observant about the birds around us. I love the cover. <laughs> this one I just happened to see on Amazon because you know how on Amazon they'll recommend things to you. And I just thought, hey, why not just try this out? Interesting facts. So there's just a lot of random facts um like it says here random mind-blowing facts about history science even pop culture and then everything in between so you can see there's a few illustrations as well but it's like lists there's just little lists of facts my husband i always say he knows a little bit about everything <laughs> And my son is very similar to my husband. So if he is the same way in this aspect as well, then I think he'll really like this book. Here we go. And this one, the same 
thing. I, it was recommended on Amazon and I thought, hey, why not? Let's see if he enjoys it. So these are just fun riddles, trick questions for kids and family. There's illustrations in here as well. Not too wordy. I think he'll really enjoy it. He's very silly, so very silly but smart. <laughs> so I think he'll really enjoy this. Okay, these next set of books are more for um, learning how to draw. So this book, How to Draw 60 Native California Plants and Animals. So I'm really excited that they have this book because these are plants and animals that he's most likely going to see since we live in California. So if we do our nature studies, it's like a step-by-step -step of how to draw the different plants and insects and animals that he may see. So I really hope this will enhance his science studies because they do a lot of nature study in his science curriculum and so he doesn't really enjoy drawing but i think it's because he's not good at it you know so when you're not good at something when you struggle at something it's not as enjoyable so i think that this book may help him to enjoy it it'll definitely help um, him to retain the things that he learns in his nature studies so i'm really excited for this one Here's another drawing book, but this is more for like doodle type drawings. But I still thought that would be good for him to learn a lot of different types of things to draw, just so he can have that under his belt if he ever wants to. Um, I think that'll help with his schoolwork too, because a lot of school assignments require drawing, and so that this will help him with that part of um, school. I also got this, my first piano lessons, just so he can get back into piano. I think this might work better if I read it and then I can kind of teach him. But I just wanted to find something that kids can understand, something easy, like it says, easy to follow instructions. So we'll see how this works out for him. This is more of an activity book because it has um, coloring, has little games like mazes, connect the dots, has drawing. So this is for the human body so that he can learn the different things about human anatomy and hopefully it can help him with his own health. I already love this book. <laughs> Very cool for kids, grades, kindergarten to third grade. Very much looking forward to going through this. This is similar to the one before. It's a busy book. I'm not entirely sure how it is set up. I don't want to open it yet. I want to let him open it himself. But um, again, just little activities. Um, I'm assuming there, there might be like mazes and you know similar things to the other book. So another one for the human body. And lastly, for the book section, I have my primary spelling notebook and my vocabulary notebook. You'll notice there's a little bit of grease marks here, but this these books are actually super easy to clean. So if I just get like a wet paper towel or something, just wipe it right off. So primary spelling is really simple. All This is all it is inside, literally, like there's nothing else. The very front page, it does have a phonogram list, which is really nice for them to kind of look back at. And that's it. <laughs> Everything else is just for practice and repetition. So this is great. This will be great. There you go. And then this is the vocabulary notebook. So this is so that they can define each word. Let's go to the very beginning here. Vocabulary word list. So that ends at 100. This is like a sample page here. So you would put the word at the top, meticulous. You would define it and then define it in your own words. Draw the word. They left that kind of blank there. Um, and then how many times you've reviewed it. You could check that off. Use it in a sentence. Copy work 
and then put some cinnamon synonyms <laughs> and antonyms okay so this is how it would look blank you put the word the definition just fill everything out here and that's how it is for the whole book see so that's that i don't think he would start using this quite yet um probably maybe starting next year we'll see okay so like i said the books were my biggest pile so the next thing is very small it's these dvds from leapfrog now i have to say a little story here about leapfrog so my sister-in-law she had given us some leapfrog dvds i'll try to put insert a picture here but the, the DVD she gave us, they were for the alphabet. And then after that, it was a, it was something about words. I'll, again, I'll insert the picture here. You guys, <laughs> that DVD was awesome because I didn't even have to teach him the sounds. He learned it all from that DVD. So if you want help with your children learning all the sounds, I really recommend this DVD. Of course, all kids are different. So I'm not saying it's like this magical thing that all kids will pick up on, but I know for my son, he, was able to memorize all the letter sounds and I didn't even have to teach him. And so by the time I started teaching him how to read, he already knew the sounds. All I had to do was do the next part, which is putting the sounds and blending them together to make words. And the other DVD was about words. And so that helped as well. I would have never bought those DVDs myself. I would have, I'm like, screen time, that's taboo. <laughs> but um, that just goes to show, you know, how, we can think something is like so bad for our kids. Anyways, that's a whole nother thing I'm not gonna get into, but um, yeah, that really helps. So my son's struggle subject at the moment is math, a little bit. It's not terrible, but he can use a little help with his addition and subtraction. So all this buildup, <laughs> but I decided to get him some Leapfrog DVDs. Um, this one is called Math Circus and the math skill so you'll notice the math skills are number recognition, which he already knows, counting, he already knows, but you'll see that it says also addition and subtraction. I've never watched these, but you know, when I saw that, I thought, okay, that's great. You know, it'll get him into just that repetition about addition and subtraction. There's also this one called The Great Shape Mystery. And this one teaches shapes, fractions, and measurements. So this one might be a little advanced, um, I haven't even looked through the math curriculum, so he might be getting into this this year. I don't think so though. I'm not sure about fractions and measurement, but you know, it never hurts. I mean, it's at least gonna go into his brain. And then this one, counting on lemonade. Again, he already knows <laughs> his numbers, of course, but addition and subtraction is the key, just that repetition. So I'm really, really excited to have him and i know he's gonna be so happy and excited to see this because he really loved those other dvds about the letters and the words the word factory so yeah he's gonna love these okay i have one more thing guys and i didn't even plan this but i actually feel like this is the best for last so let me show you what that is i got him a yodo player <laughs> I'm so excited about this. So basically this is like audiobooks, but it's more like, I would say safer because it's for kids. So the cards that you buy, they're all gonna be geared toward children. And so it's not like he can choose a adult book or something. So this is the box. I haven't opened it because again, I'm gonna give him that satisfaction of opening the box. But now I'm gonna show which cards I got. Let's start with the educational ones. <laughs> um, this one is our planet. And these are the different topics it goes over. Climate and seasons, oceans, earthquakes, rain, water cycle, polar regions, volcanoes, tropical rainforests, hurricanes, and tornadoes. And you'll notice that the running time is four hours. So that's a lot of info he'll be getting on our planet, our beautiful planet. Speaking of planets, the next one I got is the solar system. The things he will be learning are pretty much all the planets, different planets. This, I am actually not, I've never read this book 
or this collection before, but um, it seemed interesting. It seemed like something he might enjoy, the Magic Treehouse collection. Uh, here are the different stories that come in with it. Um, dinosaurs, talks about the knights, mummies, pirates, ninjas, Amazon, Sabretooth, the moon. So it kind of seems like they incorporate some educational themes in these stories. And you'll notice the running time is five hours and 42 minutes. So that's a lot of basically like audio books that he'll be listening to. Listening to. So I'm really excited about that. And last but not least, I also got the Classics Collection. I'm so happy about this because look at the wonderful books they include in this. The Wizard of Oz, Little Women, The Jungle Book, Treasure Island, and A Little Princess. Running time, seven hours. We actually have a physical copy of The Jungle Book and Treasure Island, and I was skimming through them, and they're like really advanced, even though they're children's books, they were written a long time ago and they just have such advanced language so it's gonna be so nice to just have it read to him so that way he's still getting the language in and listening to the stories without mom reading slowly or stopping to look it up in the dictionary <laughs> but then he still has a physical copy so that if he wants to read it slower and look up the words he can so i'm so so happy about this one so that was everything in this Amazon haul. Thank you so much for watching. I know a lot of people already started their homeschool. We're going to start on Monday. So we have less than a week and I am so excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and try my best to find all these things and link them in the description box. So if there's anything that caught your eye, you can click on that link. And again, thanks for watching and have a good school year. Bye.